Friends Podcast. First one, episode one is more of an introduction to people who are listening. Clyde J. Kell, and I'm with uh, Diane Hunt, and I'm with uh, Constance Brosen. Did I say your name right? I always mess your name up. Brosen. Brosen. There it is. Brosen. Constance Brosen. We are three, uh, we're three working artists. Constance is in Boynton, Oklahoma. I'm in Oklahoma City, and Diane is in Maryland. And we're at Maryland. What, what's the name of the town, Diane? Chestertown. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard. Uh, yeah, Chestertown. Yes. And we've come together. We've been meeting now for almost three years, just about every, every Monday or so. And we're just artist friends. We've become friends. We, uh, we met through a uh, Paul Klein's, Klein's Artist Work course. And then afterwards, we kind of continued. We started out kind of having more of a structure, but sometimes we follow the structure, and sometimes we just chat. Thanks to Constance, uh, we end up talking about rooster butts sometimes. And uh, <laughs> remember that conversation, Constance? <laughs> she constantly smiling. Now these two don't want to say anything. I'm like, you guys got to talk. If we're going to make this thing work, you guys got to talk. <laughs> I think we'll go, since this is the introduction, Constance, Tell just briefly a little bit about yourself because other people may be listening. They want to know who, who these people are. So tell us briefly about yourself. I'm 68. I'm an artist. And I live in Boynton, Oklahoma and on a prairie, 36 acres. And we raise cows and chickens and guineas. That's about the size of it. I'm an artist and have been an artist all of my life. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. All right, Di- Diane. Uh, you two don't freeze up now. Come on, we're gonna make this thing enjoyable. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Diane Hunt. I live on a small farm too, um, on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, I'm a painter. I paint mostly landscapes and nature. Revolves around nature. I don't know. <laughs> I've been. <laughs> what else do you what, want to say? What, what's, what's your What's your moniker? Your moniker used to say that moniker. Um, connecting with nature through my brush. There you go. That is so cool. I, I wish I had thought of that. That is just so cool. You know, Paul Klein's course, and then you went and said that. I was like flabbergasted. So that is just such a great monitor. So you should push that more, you know, more often. That's what you actually do. I mean, you really, your your paintings and everything. And the guy talking is Clyde J. Kell, and I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm a visual artist predominantly working in water guards. I do some acrylics and I am just all over the wall, uh, you know, doing old rusty cars and I love boats and, and seeing some Italy when I lived over in Italy and combination of, of uh, stuff, you know, of course you can, you know, find me everywhere on the internet. Same way with Constance and Diane. We finally got that up to where you type their name in a Google and their, their sites have come up. That was something we didn't happen. What was it? Two years ago. Remember when I went through our, our first session, I was wanting to kind of see, you know, where everybody was at, and you guys were nowhere to be found? <laughs> now you can be found. So this thing is working for us. We share what we learn about, you know, internet marketing and, and getting our art out there, and, and we share what inspires us and, you know, all kinds of things. I find so many videos on YouTube, like I was telling Costa before, Diane, they're out the week. There may be 15, 20 videos. Of course, i got to pick two or three or four because I don't want to flood you. I can flood you guys to where you would never get anything done. Did you? I didn't have more time to watch all of them this week. I, I saw the one, the one on the slime. That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Jerry's Artorama. Really funny. A lot of the coaches, you know, artist coaches, you know, they recommend indirect sale, as they say, you know, where you uh, provide a content is demonstrating, showing what you're actually selling, but in a entertaining way. Jerry's Art Ramit, I think, are kings at that. Because Jerry's Art Ramit sells art supplies. 
but look at all their videos. That was a good one at Mikey, you know, Mikey series. You know, Mikey does this, like the one about Bob Ross. So he was trying to paint like Bob Ross. Well, yeah, about a week ago right there. You know, these are just hilarious. They're hilarious, but they're selling our supplies. And it makes you, it actually makes you want to, hey, I might want to order something from those guys. And that's the whole purpose. Yeah. So if there was ever an example, an example to see how to create videos and how to, uh, you know, for ideas for content, Jerry's Art Rama is probably the premium example because they got tons of videos on their YouTube site. The main thing, they're selling something, but they're not telling you directly, hey, buy this particular paintbrush, buy this paint. No, they're, you know, providing a formative, entertaining you know, video. And I'm sure that they spend an ungodly amount of money on their video production, but they, it comes across as so easy, you know, easy going. And of course that Mikey, you know, he, he's, I think he's a family member, you know, he's one of the sons or whatever, you know, owners of the company. He's a natural comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it's like, he's he didn't like getting his hands dirty. <laughs> yeah. He's all, Ooh, it's all, it's, it's, it's on my ring now, you know, <laughs> I still looks gross. I wouldn't want to put my hands in that either. <laughs> they they go nuts, you know, and everything. At the store I work, you know, they, they sell all kinds of slime. And when they were selling these super large gallon-sized bottles of glue, <laughs> I was thinking, what in the heck is that? Thing? Well, now I know. You know. That's how you make slime, you know. I said, I'll be darned. What was that, Constance? They're selling gallon-sized bottles of what? Glue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I bought a gallon-sized bottle of glue, too, and you can use it to mix with paint to do pour-on paint. When you're doing the pour paints, you mix it with the colors along with um, when you're doing one of those paint pours, you know, that they're doing a lot of now, and you use acrylic paints, and then you use... What is the other ingredient that you put in it? To acrylic make meat, acrylic medium. No, um, there's also. Uh, let me get the bottle. I know I've got it over here. Um, I got a path to go on. <laughs> yep. She, there, she disappeared. She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking thing. Believe me, when I edit this, I'm going to edit some of that. <laughs> because I'm sure our listeners like, okay, it got quiet all of a sudden. But yeah. <laughs> what, what, okay, what is that stuff called? It's called liquid wrench. Wow, liquid silicone wrench. spray. Okay. Silicone spray. You put Elmer's glue, liquid wrench, and your paint color and you mix all these little different colors that you want to put on your paint painting and then you put the different layers in one big cup after you mix all the little different colors in the little cups and you pour it in there she goes again <laughs> <laughs> Measuring cups. Little paper Dixie cups. Yeah. You mix a color in each, just the, you know, however many colors you want to use. You mix those in the little Dixie cups and you put all this other stuff, a dot, just a drop or two of this and the Elmer's glue and you get it the right consistency with water and stuff. Then you layer your colors in here. Okay. And then you pour this onto the canvas and that's huh. your pour. And then you let it run. And then you take a torch and you heat the whole thing up. Oh my god. <laughs> and you don't burn it. Light it on fire. You don't light it on fire. You don't heat you don't burn it. You just make the what happens is all the little bubbles start popping in the painting, and that's what makes those bubbles pop the, the they call okay. them cells in the paint pop. That's a whole new meaning to on fire with art, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was going to do a bunch of those, but everybody's doing them, and I thought, well, you know, if everybody else is doing them, I don't need to do that, you know. Well, you need to do one or two just to, you know, see how it comes out, you know. Whatever. 
Well, you know what happened is I ended up doing that grayscale orb on the one I was going to do it on. So I need to make another one to do. That. Now, the other video that I recommend, of course, a shot of Gary V. But what me imp impressed me about Gary V. Got a chance to watch that. Yeah, it was a little short, 18 minutes. We talked about, you know, success. Don't be afraid of success, but be patient. Don't worry about every day, you know, at the moment. You know, thinking long term. Our world is an impatient world. I mean, for Christ's sake, we got we got microwaves. And <laughs> if it takes three minutes to cook something, we're standing there, come on. We're yelling at the microwave, right? <laughs> With our careers, we've got to slow down, you know, and and you know, and be patient. That's yeah. kind of when he was talking about that. That that kind of uh, you know resonated. Yeah, you know? I thought, okay, that's something we need to you know need to share and everything. Did you guys get a chance to watch that? Or he's not sixty-eight anymore? He, he's not sixty-eight either. <laughs> that too. Yeah. So for for us, over the road, it's natural. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but psychologically we can get ourselves into a bind you know is it okay well the thing is too you have to manage your time because there's so many things trying to pull you in so many different now like all the different social media and different websites and all that stuff i mean you can drive yourself crazy if you're trying to keep up with it all like you said last a couple weeks ago you mentioned you came across somebody who said kind of concentrate on one one item you know and everything I talked about, uh, I, I made, this time I remembered to make notes. I made notes for, you know, what we're going <laughs> to, Sergio's video. And, you know, Sergio, Breakfast with Sergio, you know, he always comes up with some great, I don't watch all of his, but, you know, every once in a while he comes up with a good one, you know. And this one he's talking about, you know, staying motivated. If you notice the overall theme of our of tonight's meeting, I was thinking about is staying motivated. You know, yeah, we, we, we meet we meet each week, which is really great. We help each other because I wish, Diane, last week you could have heard what Constance said just thrilled me to no end when she... What I said was, at this point in my life, being 68, I am happy and pretty much healthy other than this medication other than this one problem that this medication they want to put me on for and i am not going to let them put me on a medication that's going to make me sick as a dog and ruin my life because that's what this medication would do you know what i'm saying um i'm just not having it i mean i don't know how much longer i've got to live but i'm not going to let them kill me but that just when after she got through talking about that, but then she decided she's happy, she's doing what she wants. <laughs> that that just oh, that thrilled me to know. And it's okay. My personal goal was other than from a selfish point of view, you guys helping keep me motivated. My personal goal was I want to make sure that I give something back. When Constance said that, said, okay, cool, I give <laughs> something back. You know, she's staying. Yeah, you know, she's happy where she wants to be. Well, it's good for all of us. I mean, we all get motivated. And we, we've had, we've set our goals, you know, with each other and kind of you're, we're accountable to each other. And I, that's helped all of us, I think, yeah. you know, get things done that we maybe otherwise would have said, oh, I don't feel like doing that. I'll just put it off another week or, you know, <laughs> and before you know it, months have gone by and you haven't gotten anything finished. I mean, look As it is now, he said next week, oh, God, they're going to remind me. Oh, boy, I, I, they're going to ask me, did I, did I get this thing done? I'm going to be so yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not like, you know, really threatening each other or anything, but, you know, it is like, and I think just even saying it out loud what your goals are and, and you know, making a list or trying to accomplish things out loud and, and telling other people, it just makes you more accountable to getting stuff done. Yeah. It does. I think. It does. Yeah. I think it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's working. You know, we're, uh, and, and that's when I was talking to Sergio's video when he's talking about, you know, motivation. I had, I took a beating in May. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's okay to be. What, four shows? What yeah. I have, how many shows did I have lined up? One got canceled. One, I didn't sell anything. The other one, I didn't sell anything. Another one, I got ripped off, but I did sell a bunch of stuff. And then the next one, I just made out even. But what did I learn? I learned what kind of show I need to get interviewed. Exactly. 
do what I'm supposed to do. And that is arts and craft shows. I said, God, yeah, that's what Constance, you know, did there, you know? So, yeah, it's okay to get, you know. It, but I did it. <laughs> it's okay to get upset at the, and be sad about that moment because you were justified. But that's it. Stop yeah. it. After that, go on, you know, go on, move, you know, go on and, and try for another show. And it's interesting what he, he concluded. But when he said that, uh, he says, if you're not experiencing some negativity, then you're not doing anything. And that, yeah. you know, that clicked with me. You know, that's a, that's a positive twist. You know, I said, hey, if everything is hunky-dory all the time, well, maybe you're not. You know, you're, you're being too comfortable. <laughs> exactly. You, you got you to gotta extend yourself a little bit. And that's where I do seriously believe, not to say anything against the young, because we are, you know, ba it's easy for us old folks to bash the young. <laughs> but we have experienced life. And as artists, this, will, this, this comes out in art and makes our art better. Because we, when we are inspired to create that particular piece of work, it's coming from either pain, joy, or something that happened in, you know, in our life. If you experience that, it will come through in, your, in, in our work. And that's what people, when they want, when they look at artwork, that's what they want to pick up. That's what they want to, you know, they, they want to see, they want to feel. Also with young people, I think a lot of times what people see is that, that imagination that young people have, though. When a young artist is coming out, I know when you get older, you do have that experience and everything. But what I like to see in young people's art is that that imagination coming through. Oh, of course. That imagination coming through. And you think to yourself, they're, all, they're so good right now. Imagine what it's going to be like for them if they stick with it. You know, I like to see young people who are very creative and hope that they will continue to stick with it. You know what I'm saying? One on each side of me at the art at, in Tulsa and I you know hoping that I'll get to see them again next year because I'm going back to Tulsa next year you know because that was a good show you know um and I'm hoping to see both of them next year at the show that was good that guy's only 20 years old think about <laughs> if he continues what he's going to be you know and that 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 does that impresses me right and I I have a tremendous amount of respect for that and 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 uh, definitely try to make comments or likes to to encourage you know to try and encourage it. Sure, they shouldn't get wrapped up in, but too many. That's hey, that's our world, you know. That's our our social world, you know. They uh, they their their life is is focused on that. But at least now, because twenty five years ago, <laughs> have that. So at least now they can get some kind of a feedback, you know, positive feedback and everything. It's a much, it's a much, uh, a much um, I don't know how to say it. What's a good word to describe it? I mean, it's a different world now. I mean, we're, as when we were their age, there wasn't all this internet and stuff where people could see everybody's everything so much. It's just a, a totally different world. There wasn't all of this where everybody could see. I think it's been useful. We've been useful meeting meeting together, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've got. That's what I said. We've gotten a lot done, just you know, because we have set some goals and we've reached what them. Like, <laughs> Diane, when you were a child, were you really creative as a child? Yeah, yeah. I was always doing stuff. <laughs> My mother used to get so tired of giving me um, stuff to make. <laughs> she like, I we had a sidewalk outside of our house, and she'd send me out with a bucket of water and a paintbrush, <laughs> and told told me go paint the sidewalk. <laughs> and I loved it. It was like you know, it was just like painting with ink or something. You know, you I've, got, do, like, I, I've got each, to block do of, each block of the sidewalk was like a, a piece I've of paint. I've got to do a illustration of Diane you know, <laughs> painting the sidewalk because that yeah, is I like, crawl around on the ground and paint the sidewalk. <laughs> you get down to the end and the first one would evaporate, so I could start all over again. It was great. It was like having endless paper. <laughs> I'm giving you a bucket of water and a paintbrush to go. I wear the hair right off the brushes. It was it was crazy. Hard on a paintbrush, painting the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then, no, but I was always creative in all lots of different ways, like doing stuff and making things and 
you used to do a lot of knitting and crochet and sewing and all that stuff too. But I was always, and across the street from us, we had a, a, per, a the man that lived across the street. His daughter was around my age and um, I used to go over their house quite a bit, but he was an artist. And so I took some classes from him when I was pretty young. I don't even know how old I was, but I guess I, you know, I don't know what, both my um, grandparents who were pretty um, creative and even my parents were, they both did a lot of uh, creative stuff, make, making things. And I mean, we, we built a boat in our garage. <laughs> it's like, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, we were always doing stuff like that. Well, at least a blank screen. Can you hear us, Diane? I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got a blank screen, but that that's okay. As long as you, as long as we can. We're still having storms here. here. There I am. We're having storms here too, so I don't know. <laughs> like, I, like I told Constance, at least this time when you froze up, you had a nice smile on your face. You know. <laughs> Sometimes you know, we always got to. Oh, know, I know. Uh, it's usually not very good. <laughs> no, not very good at all. <laughs> and you guys have been a major contributor. You really have. You know, our our weekly meetings here. I just, I wish uh, listeners to this, other artists who want to participate, you know, or, or come as a guest, please, we're, you know, we won't bite you. <laughs> but the, with the video, the video aspect provides us kind of like sitting in somebody's living room on a couch and just talking. It's the same yeah. thing. But we're, look, at we're thousands of miles away and you can be on the other side of the world. And that's a beautiful thing about the, this internet, yeah. this the technology is advanced to where, you know, you, you can do that. And, you know, you hear, you read so much about, oh, t- technology is destroying the family. It's destroying the society. No, it's not. It's actually, I think it's enabling humans to do what humans do. They sit around, they talk, and they socialize, and, you know, and whatever. It's, it's made the world a smaller place in many ways. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm... <laughs> I mean, you guys are in Oklahoma, <laughs> you know, I mean, we would never have met if, if we weren't doing this, you know. Absolutely. And when, and well, Constance, when, I, when I went to visit Constance and that, that, when she had that show in Oklahoma City, what was it, last year? When I went to visit, it was like I was seeing her every day. Mm-hmm. The first thing out of her mouth was, oh, you're tall. And what I said, <laughs> you're short. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see that on a video, but yeah. <laughs> you got the beard when I hugged you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know when she hugged me, she was almost hugging my waist. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. But it was yeah. You know, we talked and we talked. You know, just like as if we had been talking. The 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 uh, the uh, when you first meet somebody, the the embarrassing or the uncomfortable, the the ice breaking is gone because we're you know we're doing yeah. this. Well, we've been that. talking for a while. Yeah. If I ever get a chance to meet meet you, Diane, person, it's going to be that same <laughs> way. You know, we just hey yeah, hey, it is fine. You know that you know. So you know, for other artists that are, but other other for other artists that may you know maybe listen to this, if this is what this does, you know, if you're working all alone, you know, in the in a studio, you know, and you feel and and you need some motivation, you need some inspiring, and you want to learn something, you know, we we try to keep a kind of structure, but then we get all talking about guineas and goats, and you know, <laughs> I think it's so cool. You live on a farm, you know, whatever. Here I live in the city, and it's it's good to hear about you know some of the. Uh, we got to figure out a way to ship eggs so that I can buy some <laughs> eggs from you guys. I'll send you all you want right now. <laughs> we have so <laughs> We have so many eggs right now. It's not funny. Oh my god! <laughs> I would like to take you up on the, uh, you know, like to place an order with you, but I'm afraid it'd be all scrambled eggs by the time they got. Probably. Figure out a way to an economical way to ship them. Yeah, yeah, eggs is just because I mean I bought road trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a pretty expensive eggs though. <laughs> So what is everybody working on this week? Yeah, okay. Everybody clams up. <laughs> what are we working on? <laughs> I'm working on stuff for the class that I'm taking, but... Um... Okay. Yeah, keep doing that. And I hope you share some more with us, you know, <laughs> what you're doing there, yeah? 
Yeah. Now remember, we still have before before the end of the month, you know, our our task of uh, you know. So that's why Diane's taking a class because she wants to be able to have a bunch of stuff on that task. Task. <laughs> I think it's making my list longer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's helping or not. Yeah, but we want we want to post that the you know things that we've done that uh, you know are uh, you know coaching se- coaching sessions yeah you know, and everything and I, I'm looking forward to that you know and like I said I don't want to be the only one I got some definite stuff I want you two to you know add you know some, there is a piece that I've had in my mind I've wanted to work on sometime about two years ago maybe. Maybe it's been almost three years now. I guess my uh, my son-in-law took a beautiful picture in Naples. It's your classic Bay of Naples picture, you know, where you have the Vesuvius in the background and you have the bay and it has the city. But it was done at sunset with some beautiful reds and blues and everything. And I've I've wanted to do that for a long time, but I didn't feel comfortable about uh, you know the getting the the right color mixing the you know the the technique these works that i've been doing has been preparing myself for that like when i did a couple weeks ago one of my boats with the sunset color i got that just right so i'm thinking either tonight (laughs) or tomorrow i'm gonna that's gonna uh, that i'm gonna do that and this week i'm also going to work on my graphic novel the second one here i got some you know, I did. I said last week I was going to do. It. I didn't do anything with it. I got to do something because the deadline is coming close here. I want to <laughs> publish this thing in July. Uh, so that's me, Constance. What do you got planned? Since you asked the question. Yeah, I've got, I've got the new tent in. It's a properly weighted tent and all that, and I've got to take pictures of it with it all set up to put on the application. And the weather's not been right, and I've been. Not feeling all that great, right. so I've got to get out there and get that. Out. Why is she echoing all of a sudden? Huh? You're echoing. I don't know. Nah, don't worry about it. We're we're almost we're yeah. almost done here, so yeah. Back a little bit. If you echo, 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 oh well. Hey, <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's the nature of this. You know. <laughs> anybody anybody else got anything you want to add, or you want to? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm going to ask one more question. Okay. Which as far as the websites that you put, as far as Fine Art America or Art Pal, which one do you do the best on? I can sort of hear myself. Which one is the best? Yeah, which one do you do best on? Well, I'll go by by uh, which ones give me, they all now give me a good boost, but the two that I seem to notice and comes up in searches more often is uh, Find Our America, definitely, all the time, uh, and uh, Art Pal. Art Pal does that thing. They automatically, if you notice, if you have it set up on your profile with Art Pal, it will automatically post, uh, it's a feature art of the day, and it will make a post to your to your Facebook website and Instagram if you want. I mean, it uh, it, it, it just automatically, it randomly selects from your, your art work that you got in your gallery and it just, it just automatically I like that you know fine art America used to do that but for some reason they they you know Facebook changed their algorithm algorithm or their software or whatever so it doesn't work with fine art America you have to physically post yeah, something yeah. to Facebook yeah because I see your stuff come up in my feed all the time it's a feature art of the day and a constant Bronson and it'd be one of your pieces you know it comes into my feed you know all the time because if you're if your followers will get that you know yeah. so whoever follows you will, will see that and I'm getting a good bounce from fun from uh, art pal because of that I'm getting you know people that are clicking on likes, you know, and, and comments. I mean, it's just like our crowd just started doing it. They, just last year, they started doing that. And then, of course, every week, you know, they send a report that said how many people has viewed your art, you know. And, and so it, those postings from our pal are not done by me. Our pal is doing that. But they look like they're coming from me, you know. <laughs> the people are commenting. It's okay. Uh, as far as distribution throughout the Internet, visibility, find our America. Oh my God! I'm up to over tw- over twenty one thousand, you know, visitors to my site now, and it uh, what it contributes to that though is, is my blog. Are you still with us, Constance? You look like you froze up. 
I think now Constance froze up. Well, there you are. <laughs> Look like you froze a little bit there, Constance. <laughs> she's she's sending <laughs> text messages. I'm frozen. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I thought I'd start with one of them and work on it, and then get that one all cool and everything, and then then move on to another one. And since our pal is the one who likes to post everything really good, so yeah, because you know. every every time with our pal. Uh, I get, I see your post in my feed all the time. Your art, where I and I know it's coming from our palette. Randomly select some of your uh, some of your pastels you've been doing. Are you, are you have you put those up on on art pal and? I haven't put anything up on art pal lately. But yeah, it's like Diane said earlier. We got so much. Uh, if you if if you pick one and kind of get that up to speed and then go to the next one. I tried juggling all of them and then. Uh, it was just entirely too much. I was like, whoa. Yeah. But as far as uh, a general internet bounce to get on, you know, spread throughout the internet, our, uh, Find Our America is, is really, really good for that. Getting uh, postings to automatic postings to f Facebook, ArtCloud does that. And it, it's, I, I like it because I don't have to worry about remembering to, hey, I better post this image, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's about it's about time for us to to close here because Diane is yawning. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an hour later for me. <laughs> our premiere episode of our Artist Friends podcast. So for anybody that will be listening to this, I hope you it will inspire you folks to join us. At least take a few minutes to uh, look at our artist sites. There will be links in the show notes for everybody and to uh, check us out. And I hope we've been entertainment and we haven't put you to sleep. Bye-bye, everybody. And thanks thanks for listening. And you too, thanks for joining me. We'll, we'll see you all next week, okay? Bye, guys. <laughs>www.cjkleartworks.com If you'd like to participate or appear as a guest on the Artist Friends Podcast, please email cjkle at sign mystery-otr.com That's cjkle at sign mystery-otr.com This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons License 2019. Thank you for listening.